I'm going to go over a problem that I believe the Brushy Mountain Observation Hive has. And it deals with the B space at the top. I'm going to take up the lid. And you can, you can see the problem. There's some squished bees here. Problem is there's no B space above this frame. A Brushy Mountain says there's supposed to be a quarter inch above the frame. That's still not enough to let the bees get above the frame to get up to the ventilating areas. B space is three eighths. I don't know if Brushy Mountain is trying to keep the queen from getting above here. So, you know, if she sits up there the whole time, what good is the observation hive? <clears throat> but this three quarter inch piece of wood that holds the plastic in, I found the bee can sit up behind here. I, I used this last Friday and the queen at some point got up behind here and you couldn't see her anyway. So that's a moot point. And I want to show what I did to verify this. I took a piece of modeling clay and uh, put it on top of the frame. Put this back on, pulled it off, and then I measured the thickness of the modeling clay. It's less than an eighth of an inch. Eighth of an inch is point one two five. It's not even the quarter inch that Brushy Mountain says it should be. So I'll show you how I'm going to fix this one so you have the 3 8 B space. Okay, I just modified the top and you can see now that this is down, the frame is down lower and to verify how far down I'll put a piece of clay there. Take my top. Put it back on. Make sure it's down. Lift it up now. I have my thickness that I need. Okay, now when I measure it, go right down here. 0.421, a little over three eighths, about uh, twenty thousandths over. 40,000 dollars. Anyway, so now I have the B space in here. And the way that I cut this, I just took a router with a straight bit and set it to 3 eighths deeper than here. And I just did this freehand. I just came in here and routed each side. Now that's the end of this video, unless you want to hear the rant. Now the rant is that, let me get these dead bees off of here. Okay, so what happened? Friday morning I go and I put my frame of bees with the queen on her, on the frame, in the top. And I put a frame of bees in the bottom and some empty frames to fill it up. Well, just when I put the top on, I, at the time I didn't notice that the frame came up almost flush with the top. So I put the top on and just when I did, the queen walked up onto the top of the frame. So then after I loaded everything, I'm looking for the queen. I couldn't find the queen. I didn't know what was happening. I picked this up and the queen was squashed, stuck to the top, flat. The queen's only an eighth of an inch thick now. And I, you know, I was distraught. And then she fell off of here down into the frame. And I went around and looked and she was shaking. Uh, like nerve, you know, the nerves were damaged or something. She was sitting there shaking. So I just figured I had to leave 
for this demonstration. My queen's dead. And after about half an hour, she started to walk around. And for the demonstration, she was alive and, and was walking around. I don't know if she's ever going to lay eggs again or what, but because there was no space in here, I could have killed the queen and I may have ruined the queen. So uh, it really, really upset me. Anyway, if you've got a Brushy Mountain um, observation hive, you either have to be extremely careful that there's never a bee on top here when you put the top on or you need to modify it so you have the bee space.